We start with the South Bay's largest school district about to make police officers on campus optional, at least temporarily. San Jose Unified School District board members are meeting right now to bring the cops back. But as KPI X5's Kid Doe reports, not without some major changes. So what's happening tonight is basically a formality to approve the deal that they hammered out back on December 9th between the district and San Jose police that governs what they can and cannot do while officers are on campus. Tonight, the school board will approve 27 new police officers to be paid $8,000 each to provide police services at the school, totaling $216,000. Each individual school will have the option, for now, to submit a request for a school resource officer to patrol on campus during class hours or for special events. Some of the highlights of the new agreement, officers will wear school uniforms, not SJPD uniforms. Whenever possible, counseling shall be offered in lieu of issuing a criminal citation to a minor. Student disciplinary matters remain the responsibility of school staff and not officers, and the officers will get training on de-escalation, implicit bias, and positive behavioral interventions and strategies. SJUSD will convene an advisory committee on use of SJPD officers to further study the long-term use of cops on campus. But until a more permanent policy is in place, the schools will have discretion to bring the officers back as they see fit. Crystal Calhoun is head of San Jose Unified Equity Coalition, who successfully got officers removed from all campuses back in June 2021. If it was my thing, I'd hire 27 counselors. You know, I'd be looking at more teachers of color, more tent counselors of color, you know, special studies, you know, special, special education. It's a lot of money. There's a lot of things you could do with 200000 rather than keep paying the police. In San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.